This is for anyone who has a bug a phobia. Please click off now since the rest of this video has to do with an insect. Please click off now. Hello my little all babies and welcome back to another video. On today's video, I thought I would share my new pet. So this enclosure was actually made for a pet frog who belonged to my little sister. But that little frog never made it through the night. So I was left with this enclosure and I know one of my friends from the snail group were giving away a pet snail and I got her. This is UFO, she is my new pet. For the first night, she she would move. She would only eat occasionally. She would only pop her head out occasionally. She was in this enclosure for about, well, I would say like three days. And then I bought her an updated enclosure, a glass enclosure, not a plastic enclosure like this one is. But for the first night, she was pretty shy. She wouldn't move as much. She would just huddle herself in amongst the leaves. So if you are considering on getting a pet that's easy to manage and easy to clean, then a snail is probably the best thing for you especially if you have children but here's a few pros cons and some information that you may want to know i just want to make this fact point clear under no circumstance should you have your dog in the same room as your pet snail when your snail is out for its slime around your hand time this is for the two of them safeties. This keeps your snail safe from being eaten or preyed upon. It also keeps your pet safe from eating it. But special dogs, if they get them in their mouth and in their dry digestive system, its slime is fairly toxic to your dog and it can cause deaths. I would highly recommend getting a spray bottle one that hasn't had stuff in it before like a fresh one like the hairdressing ones will be fine as long as it doesn't have any chemicals the chemicals are really toxic towards your snails especially snails skin is very sensitive and i mean very sensitive make sure you spray the their enclosure like once or twice a day i do it twice to make sure the humidity is is fine for them. What can I give it for food? Well, snails are not that much pick eaters, but they are herbivores. They only eat greens basically, so leaves, bits of bark, fungus, flowers, flower stems. They eat that. Also have a cuttlefish. Or put an egg shelf in. That is good for their shelves. Also a fun fact that you should know about before you even get them on. Is snails are hermaphrodites. What means they have both male and female reproductive systems. So it can breed without a mate. And this means if... When she lays eggs, or he lays eggs, there is going to be 80 eggs and 80 babies that you have to deal with. Join groups on to do with snail keeping and being an owner of a snail. Science changes every now and again and it's best to get other people's opinions, especially people who have had the snails much more longer than you have. It's always good to have that opinion from somebody else who is also a snail owner. Do your research before even getting a snail. 
it's special going to the groups getting information for them even look up on youtube how to care for a snail if you live in a budget or something um also buy books on snail keeping as well where just get knowledge because scientists science always changes and so does how to take care of your animal as well remember as i said in my last video there is no vet for insects so there is a time where you are going to be dealing with a snail that might have formed wrong in its egg and it could be damaged or anything and euthanization is probably the best thing for it or it will be suffering Corn about snails since they are hermaphrodites there is a thing that they might overpopulate in their own terrium so always keep eyes out for eggs especially in the cages and there are con is they poop a lot so you will need to go in there like once every three days just to give it a little clean now and again also make sure to put fresh food in for them for anybody who is wondering why there is a big hole in my, the side of my snail's body that is a giant nostril that's his breathing tube Honestly, I panicked when I seen this because I thought that she might have done something to herself. But no, this is the nostril, sure. this is how they breathe. Even though they are so small and you wouldn't think that they would have personality traits, oh, they do, they definitely have attitudes. Especially UFO here. She's definitely a chubby snail. <laughs> definitely. She's also very laid back and lazy, but as soon as you put your hand in, she will look at you. And this is when I had my hand in there to clean off slime and some poop that she had on the glass. She's very curious. She definitely reminds me of a lot of cats. Well, that's all for today's video. We are going to let... Yeah, for do the same out. Like this type of content, please give this video a huge thumbs up. And also, if you have a unique pet like me, please let me know down in the comments below. If you would like to join our past YouTube channel, please consider on subscribing, where she does a lot of different content on her channel. And also, if you want to see more content of me, please let me know.